I wish I had your fingers, Timothy. <laughs> I'll fill in a donor card for you, Father. <laughs> I mean, now, I mean, look at that granny knot. Never trust a man who ties a granny knot. This string, Father, what are you doing? Uh, Crocheting vests for our lads in the Falklands or what? I've been reading the papers that when the bomb goes off, there are going to be some things you won't be able to get in the shops. What shops? <laughs> that lamp thing of yours, uh, that'd be damn useful, you know. Yes. You get three wishes with this, you know. <laughs> magic lamp, magic lamp. Oh, oh it works. <laughs> this is where you've been hiding. Oh. It's the genie with the light blue hair. It's not light blue. It's Balmoral, if you must know. And that filthy old thing's a fire hazard. What, Father? <laughs> I should be at home to Mrs. Metford Jones this evening. That means you two won't be. Are you ashamed of us, Mother? Don't be silly. Of course I am. <laughs> be secretary at the ladies' luncheon club, I shall need Mrs. Metford Jones behind me. I have to make a right impression. Sydney, you all have to stay in the shed. <laughs> the shed? What's he going to do in the shed? Well, he's got his string. Well, it'll be cold. It'll be damp, Mother. He'll shrivel up like the dahlias did. <laughs> we can have a candle. And I'll do a thermos of hot water and put a fisherman's friend in it. <laughs> Reminds me of the war, sitting in that shed. Mind you, it was a lot more fun then. So were you. <laughs> now, Timothy, I imagine you'll be seeing this wonder person we hear so much about, her in her junk shop. Antique shop, Mother, please. Well, are you seeing her tonight? Yes, probably. And when are we going to get to meet this radiant creature? You're not, Mother. <laughs> I've told her I'm an orphan. <laughs> what? I've told her that I was found on the doorstep of the Cowan Gate factory, one Christmas <laughs> Eve, wrapped up in a brown paper parcel. You told her that? Yes, and that for the first 21 years I was brought up by the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> If the day shift had joined in, I might have been taller. <laughs> you are ashamed of your own parents. Yes, Mother. I'm ashamed of you, you're ashamed of me. Fifteen all. <laughs> Sydney, I've made up my mind. I'm going to get that boy fostered. Doctored? <laughs> Shed! Fair enough. <coughs> Stepping off the mat. Sorry? The mat. It's making the doorbell ring. Oh, sorry. I thought it was the doorbell. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> well, it's me again. Again? Yes, you remember? I bought the lamp. That was me. Was it? <sighs> and the Hornby train? I'm sorry, I don't seem you to remember. You really do remember? <laughs> Timothy Lumsden. I fell over the tiger and caught my nose in the birdcage. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, hello again. Hello. How are you? Mm. How's the nose? How's the birdcage? <laughs> you meant it back, roughly. <laughs> Same with the nose. <laughs> I did it from an old school photograph, you know, sort of. <laughs> uh, can I help you? Um, well, it's... Uh, well, actually, I'm just sort of browsing, really. Right. <laughs> um, Wanda? Yes? Um, I just want... May I call you Wanda in that way? Oh, if you want to. Everybody does. <laughs> uh, what was it you wanted? Well, I was just wondering if, um... Good heavens, what's this? Where's the... Where did this come from? Oh, it's my diary. Goodness me. Look at that. One free evening this week, and it's tonight. Well, 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 well. You'll have to excuse me. I'm stripping. Stripping? Tonight? Do you mean you do two jobs? Uh, no, I'm stripping now. Oh, please, not on my account. <laughs> Rubber gloves type stripping. Oh, good heavens. I have no idea. Furniture. Oh, I see. Uh, now, excuse me. Yes, all right. Uh, Wanda. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Um, I was wondering if... Um, uh, do you know anybody uh, who's not doing anything tonight at all? Well, only you. <laughs> of course, yes. Now, I mean, you know, if there was anybody else not doing anything, then I thought the two of us might not do something together, you know. I mean, for example, uh, you and me, perhaps. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, it's very hey, kind of you. Hello. 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 Oh, sorry. It's the wolf man. <laughs> oh, dear. Hello. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you've got a punter. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not a punter. I'm just, uh... Oh, trade. No, uh, no. No, no. No, I've not been on a punter in my life. No, I'm just, uh... Excuse me. Well, let's have a look at the new stock. Oh, give you 250 for the horse. 250? Trade, 220. I said 250. Take me out to dinner with the 30. Now then. Mmm. Lilik? Oh, I think so. Mmm. Give you the benefit. 80. 90. Yeah, all right. I can always move Lilik. Got a tame American. No trouble. Birdcage. Someone stuck his nose in there. <laughs> 40. All my little clock. Say 100. Ah. Uh -huh. But now the pianola. Now that is a uh, bit Excuse dodgy. me. Um, I'm having this if you don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. How much is this? Well, it is 175. 200. <laughs> no, it's 175. 250. All oh, right, 180. 190. 185? Done. <laughs> I think the electrics are dangerous. Don't worry, I've got a tame little man or sorted all that. Sort of thing. <laughs> uh, will the cheque be all right? All right. Yes. I'll throw in the rolls. No, no, I have a card. Thank you. <laughs> the piano rolls. Oh, does it? On castles? <laughs> now, there we are. What about you and I having a little bit of dinner tonight, Wanda? Uh, oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, I can't. I've got to fix up my stall at the antique fair. Oh, no problem. At the corn exchange? Yes, at the well, corn exchange. Well, goodness me. I can help you. You know, I can help. Then we can have the dinner afterwards. But, uh, now, listen, I've made it out here for 200, a round sum. I think. I don't know, well. Are you sure? Absolutely. I can move a pianola. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, you can't. <laughs> <A> bloody heavy. <laughs> Touché. <laughs> I shall have a removal man help me with this, you know. The address is on the back. There we are. <laughs> well, sorry I pipped you at the post, old sunshine. <laughs> Only the bravest deserve the fare. <laughs> so I'll see you tonight then, Wanda. <laughs> Very nice tone, hasn't it? <laughs> I'm stepping up, my dear, to breathe an atmosphere that simply reeks with class. Do -do -do -do. And I hope you'll excuse the dust when I step on the gas. Oh, oh, sorry, Father. You're toasting chestnuts. <laughs> Language, Timothy. <laughs> I'm getting as warm as I can before I go out to that damn shed. I think you're going to be all right, Father. I noticed on the kitchen table a small hip flask full of something <laughs> rather strong. Ribena, I think. <laughs> Gets awfully lonely out there, Timothy, you know. Haven't seen any sign of the cat, have you? I think he senses danger. He's in the airing cupboard, clinging to the pipes. <laughs> well, that takes me back, you know. I used to sit in the Anderson shelter on my own. What do you mean? You, you left Mother in the house to face the bombs? Bombs? This was 1953. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder how I was ever conceived. Well, don't ask me. I'm no good at technicalities. <laughs> that's all right. I think that's all right. Bit bare. Have you got any nice uh, hankies, Father? Hmm? Nice hanky, you know, that fall languidly from the top pocket. You know, silk with a sort of monogram, you know. What are you before? Well, I'm whisking Wanda off to some sophisticated knightery, you know. Very French. Very chic. <laughs> you know, where they do the chips at your table. <laughs> I feel, I sort of feel I ought to appear au fait, you know. Like Norman St. John Stevens. <laughs> Only more butch. <laughs> the corner of my top drawer, the ones your mother bought me. Initials in the corner, ZK. ZK? Whoever was called ZK? Nobody. That's why they were so damn cheap. <laughs> or I'll pop upstairs and get it. We'd better hurry up. We're past our no. time for You better get back to the shed. <laughs> Otherwise, Mother will have your guts for garters. No, no, that was 1954. <laughs> Who's there? Come to me, Mother. Come in here. You're not meant to be here at all. Well, I wouldn't have come in anyway, Mother, only you asked me. <laughs> oh, good gracious me, that's lovely. It's rather effective, isn't it? Yeah. Who do I remind you of, Timothy? <laughs> George Washington, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. I've often been likened to Princess Diana. <laughs> Not in the daylight, surely. <laughs> You'll get the back of my hairbrush. Why, if you change your will. <laughs> what are you wearing? 
You look like Geraldo's butler. Thank goodness Mrs. Medford Jones won't be seeing you, that's all. Who can that be? Well, if you're Princess Diana, Mother, it could be the stork. <laughs> well, it won't be Mrs. Medford Jones. She's polite. She'll be late. Tell whoever it is to go away and then go away yourself and stay away. Mammy. Get out. I walk a million miles. Please do. <laughs> but I don't wear that. Moo, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Well, where am I supposed to be? I don't know, dear, but we're hiding. Mother has invited Mrs. Metford Jones. She's ironed the Radio Times and everything. Well, Father wants these steps back. Well, Father, dear, has been sent to the shed, so we'll have to go out the back. Father's sent to the shed? He'll freeze out there. No, no, he's got a hot water bottle. <laughs> Two, to be honest, one for him, one for the cat. <laughs> what does that smell? Well, it's not Father, it's not the cat. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Is she cooking? Don't meddle with it, Moo, for goodness sake. Well, what is it? I don't know, do I? It's some recipe she got from the Daily Herald. Smells like it. <coughs> what? What's the black scum? She's cooked it with a cling film on. <laughs> Get me a fish slice. Don't start slicing the fish, whatever you do. We need to take the scum off. We can't leave it like well, this. Well, don't meddle, Moo. I get the blame always. <laughs> I am the eldest. That's Mrs. Watford Metford thing. Come on, out the back. But aren't you going to let her in? We're not allowed to. <sighs> Mother's ashamed of us, and Father, and you. Oh, what do you feel about these silverfish? Well, they're all right, as long as they're hallmarked, they're socially acceptable. <laughs> Hurry. All right, don't snatch. Go on. You snatch there again. <coughs> Mother, will I answer the door? I told you to go. I know, but will I let them in? Tell them to go away. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, one piano, look, Gov. Where do you want it? Not here. Oh, well, this is where you live, isn't it? Yes, but not now. Yeah, well, it's here now. I mean, it'll cost you double to take it back. Who is it? Um... Um, it's, um, a carol singer's mother. <laughs> With her own piano. The carol singers at this time of year? Uh, from Australia. <laughs> Shove off, you bludgers. It's, it's a present, eh? A little surprise. Mum's birthday. Yeah, very thoughtful. All right, Clint, in you go. Yes. Timothy! Oh, my God. Come low. This is why. Look, it's yes. no wonder her cooking's so wet and sloppy. What do you mean? They're all wartime recipes. No. Look, they're all for dried no. egg. Nobody has seen powdered egg since 1946. Yeah, she's still got two boxes in the larder, Moo. <laughs> now, look, I've got more important things to do than Oh, where's you now, Gov? Um, uh, upstairs, if you don't want. Oh, well, it's a pound of steps there. What? Yeah, and you've got, what, uh, two corners. Let's say you're looking at, uh, 20 quid extra. All right, what about the living room? Is there a surcharge for living room? Oh, certainly, eh? All right, Kate, come on. Oh, that's it. Oh, lady of the house. <laughs> Pianola? Mm -hmm. What do we want a pianola for? <laughs> oh, it's an investment, dear. Bargain price. Don't scoff. Well, it says 175 quid here. Yeah, and 30 quid for removals. Forgotten art removing pianolas. All right, Clint. Come on, Clint. Two hundred pounds? All right, this is all right. Please, please. not the car getting freezing. Look, look, I am doing the scum. Excuse me. Scum. Wait, listen. Excuse me. Excuse me, Kevin. Scum. Scum. Notwithstanding which scum is. Look, Kevin. Would you mind just uh, vamoosing? Mother is expecting uh, a baby. No, what baby? Expecting a baby. <laughs> Where's this baby come from? Well, I know where babies come Timothy, from. Timothy, are would you would one you... of us or are you an alien? Kevin. Kevin. Yes. Oh, mother's right. His eyes are too bloody close together. <laughs> now, <laughs> Police, mouldings, yes, right. dodo, worth a fortune if you knock the house down. Yes, come on then. You're a... No, not there, not now. This is Mrs. Watford Metford thing. Oh. Come in! Oh. What am I going to do? I'm not supposed to be here. Won't it, Melmoth? I'm going to have to completely redo the topic. Leave of... it. It's got nothing to do with you. She is my mother. This mess rubs off on me. <laughs> Mrs. Mepper Jones. Oh, call me Aurelia. And I'm Phyllis. Oh. <laughs> Let me take your coat. Did you have a good journey? The traffic wasn't too terrible, was it? Oh, it's so nice to have company. One is so much on one's own. On your own? Your husband, uh, I mean, he's still with us, isn't he? Not to any great extent. <laughs> And your son, um, uh, Timothy? Uh, he's at sea. I thought you said he was a librarian. Yes. On the Aquitania. <laughs> oh, we'll have a lovely little tete-a-tete -tete tonight. Just the two of us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Never stops. 
does it? Who'd be a pillar of the community? <laughs> Still, noblesse oblige. Hold <laughs> in the shed. Oh dear, it's a tramp. <laughs> Two P yesterday, that shall be quite enough. Be off with you. I can't stop shivering. <laughs> One has to be firm. They call all the time here. It's something of a tradition. They seem to look on me as the lady of the manor. There is something burning. Oh dear. It's the cook's night out. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? We smelt something burning. You live six miles away. <laughs> uh, this is the au pair. <laughs> and her boyfriend. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Isn't she fluent? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> She's almost ready to go back. <laughs> Get out. She's from the Balkans, poor thing, and so's he. Did you notice his eyes? They have them much closer together out there. Oh, dear, this daughter. <laughs> it's Mr. Watt, the meter man. <laughs> reading the meters, lady. Uh, take us a bit of time, because uh, we're very slow readers. Three men. Yeah. Three men to read the meter. Yeah. One to read, one to write, and one to hold a torch. Yes. Well, I, I'm sure you'd like to go upstairs, Aurelia, and wash your things. Please find your own way out. Oh, as many a meter to read a four night for. Get out! Thirty-five quid, Gov. You said 30. Yeah, five quid waiting time in the cupboard. <laughs> What's that scratching? Not me. There is some animal scratching at the door. Dad! I burst the hot water bottle. Frozen! Go inside next to the fire. Oh, fair enough. Hello, Kevin. Cheerio. Honestly. The way she treats him. Well, that settles it. He's coming to live with us. Right. What? <laughs> Too late. I hope she's still there. Father, Father, you must be in the shed. What's Muriel doing in the kitchen? I don't know. Don't go in there, whatever you do. Timothy! Yes. Tim! Muriel, I'll just come over. Yes. Now, look, yes. we have decided uh -huh. that Father is coming to live with us. No, we haven't, Muriel. Yes, we have. Fine, excellent, grand, wonderful. Couldn't be more pleased. I'm just on my way. Uh, Timothy! Yes? You do understand, don't you? This means just you and Mother living here together. I absolutely understand. Mother and me together. I am alone. Alone. Mother and... What's that? It's the pianola! <laughs> Father, it's not safe! Don't... Where have you plugged it in? Switch it off. What's going on? What's that dreadful noise? It's not Christmas. Timothy Lumsden. He's out with that woman. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> I can't unplug it. Uh, uh, what? Don't touch it, Father. That's the baby. All comes it... back now. You touch this lever, it adjusts well, you're the not... tempo. Don't bother your shot. Yes. Oh, ah! He's supposed to be in the shed. <laughs> what is this? This is dreadful. Yes, it is. Take it into the garden and burn it. <laughs> not that. It's father, mother. He's not breathing. He's not moving. Oh, my God. It's the honeymoon all over again. <laughs> mother, you got a shot from the pianola. <laughs> now, don't touch that. What? That. Don't touch it. Oh. <laughs> I'm all right, Mother, but I think Father is dead. <laughs> dead? Oh, that's typical. Anything to spoil my...
<laughs> Get in, Mother, quickly. I'm not coming. I've got the chairman of the ladies' luncheon club in there, sitting in pitch darkness next to this family. It's all right, Mother, it's the main fuse. I've rung the electricity board. What about Father? The electricity board? At this time of night? It'll cost a fortune. Took three men to read the meter. Come on, Daddy's very ill. Oh, Daddy, is it? Let me tell you, Muriel, he was my husband long before he was your father. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Don't you talk. You were a mistake. <laughs> oh, come on, Tim, if you're coming. He's not going. I am. You're staying here. I am going out with wonder. You are going nowhere. You are going to look after Mrs. Metford Jew. How will I find her in the dark? Feel for her. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Language, Timothy. Sorry, Father. <laughs> Mrs. Metford Jones. I'm here. Where are you? I don't know. Could you be more precise? <laughs> I don't know at all. Perhaps if you sang or whistled, I could find you in that way. I can't sing. I'm not in the mood for singing. I'm rather cold and very hungry. Oh, there you are. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Timothy. You're Timothy? Your mother said you were six foot three. <laughs> She's metric. <laughs> <laughs> well, I dare say you have got something better to do tonight than stand here and talk to me. I, I mean, I know that I have. <laughs> what? Well, I had arranged, I was planning a little candlelit dinner for two. Oh. Oh, what a charming invitation. I accept. <laughs> oh. Better. Muro, turn around. We're going back. I'm having a doctor say he's better. If you don't care about him, I'll drop you at the nearest bus stop. I love him. What do you know about love? I've put up with him for 43 years. A man who can't even top and tail a gooseberry. <laughs> of course I love him. I love you too, Pyramid. Shut up. Fair enough. <laughs> Heaven and you and I can stand kissing the moonlit sky. The desert song calling its voice and crawling will make you mine. <laughs> <laughs> Me singing. <laughs> it must be the lamplight. <laughs> Why do you keep looking at your watch? Sorry, I'm not. Was I? I, 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 I wasn't. I just. I just like to. Um, I like to watch the date change. <laughs> it's not that late, surely. No, no, it's no, no, no. It's, uh, no, it's too late anyway. So, <laughs> shall we sing the desert song again? You weren't meant to be going somewhere, were you? Going somewhere? What do you mean? You mean going bean? You mean or good good boys? You mean or what? No. <laughs> I mean, you, uh, you weren't meant to be going out, meeting someone. No, 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 don't worry, honestly, it's too late now, it's, it's all right. You wear What? No. And I've taken up your whole evening. Look, you mustn't worry at all, please. It probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. <laughs> For all I know, she could be a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> so could I be. <laughs> you know, I've never looked, it's one of these things one doesn't do. Where is this gal? Uh, well, she's, uh, she's at the corn exchange, uh, loosely, you know, but it's too late, don't worry. Too late? The Red Shadow would never say it's too late. You said he was one of your heroes. No, John Hansen is one of my heroes. <laughs> but are you the Red Shadow or aren't you? Yes, oh. but I'm afraid of the dark. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, afraid Wanda's gone. <laughs> However, she's uh, left a note <laughs> for me. Sent it. <laughs> Oh, dear. All's well that ends well, thanks to you. Oh, my goodness, the bus. Good night. Good night. Tell your mother you're a splendid son. All right, I'll try. Whoops, there we are. Oh, it's full, eh? Oh, I haven't got any money. Uh, I'll get the next one. This is the last bus. Well, there'll be one along tomorrow, won't there? Off you go. Good night.
<laughs> and the way you spoke to Miss Smarty Pants Muriel when she said, come and live with her. Oh, you put her in her place. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> I rather like Muriel. <laughs> yes, so do I, within limits. <laughs> More cocoa, darling. <laughs> Where have you been? I've been, uh, I've been looking after Aurelia. Who? Mrs. Metford Jones, remember? I've swung it for you, Mother. She said it's perfectly all right for you to be the secretary of the luncheon club. Never mind, Mrs. Metford Jones. When we were in casualty, I noticed that the friends of the cottage hospital needed an on sec. <laughs> Their chairman is Lady Stevenage. Lady Stevenage. <laughs> I should enjoy working with her. Anyone can be double barreled. <laughs> What's that? It's a letter, Mother. From that Wanda? Possibly. Confetti? What's she trying to say? <laughs> we haven't even met her. It's my check, Mother. I think she's saying goodbye. What are you doing? I'm going to climb right to the top of this ladder, Mother, and jump off. <laughs> you deserve a smack. Oh, that was... <laughs> He's not well. Oh, 